The pink hibiscus mealybug, a dangerous plant pest capable of devastating entire farm crops. This would concern any farmer, and the mere thought that this pest has made its way to our shores no doubt consumes the minds of some Jamaicans. But the fact that the local authorities have the capacity and technical know-how in terms of management and control should be quite encouraging and should help to put your minds at ease. The Rural Agricultural Development Authority RADA, the Plant Quarantine Unit, and the Research and Development Division at the Ministry of Agriculture Bodo's Research Station operate an active plant health and pest response database system for detecting and monitoring the presence of these pests. This is something that we um, really appreciate that we can work together. Training was conducted for all the parish offices. The officers came together and they were sensitized, trained, they were exposed to the pest and um, the features and characteristics of the pest and they were also given their um, mandate as to what to advise an, a homeowner or a farmer if such uh, a problem were to arise on, on their property. So the extension agents are very much um, on top of it and are currently doing their um, respective surveys. The three entities are working together with persons in the community as well as drawing on the experiences of other countries. The objective is to prevent any major damages or possible spread of the pink mealy bug. Citizens have been advised by Thurado that their area is basically um, has been affected hence they are not to encourage or allow any material to be removed um, any nurseries in the area should not be releasing material from there if they know that they have this problem um, quarant the quarantine unit by law um, can um, release what we call a, a stop order which will prevent legally any movement whatsoever from any affected area, particularly if nurseries are affected. Grenada, when it was first detected there, um, lost over um, about two million dollars per year US in terms of the damage that this particular pest had caused. But um, luckily during that time there was a biocontrol program that was developed to manage this pest so Jamaica now has an opportunity to learn from that experience from other countries. The United States is also very active in terms of biocontrol for the pink hibiscus mealybug since it was detected there in Florida and now in Louisiana. So they're very much involved in managing it at this point in time. So there is hope for Jamaica in terms of our managing it. It was early in June 2007 when the pest discovery in Portland was brought to the attention of Juliet Goldsmith, one of the Ministry of Agriculture's entomologists. This was done through RADA's extension officers and since then, every effort has been made to contain the mealybug in this single area. The detection of this pest is the first in Jamaica's history, so samples of the specimen found were sent to the Caribbean Taxonomic Network, Carinet, for an identity confirmation. By early July, it was confirmed. The pest was indeed the pink hibiscus mealybug. It is a very small, soft-bodied insect. It is pink or gray in color and is usually covered in white, fluffy wax. Adult females are about the size of one to two pinheads and are egg-shaped and wingless. Adult males are longer and slender with wings and two thin tail-like growths. The pink mealybug can be found on stems, leaves, flowers, fruits, and even on roots in the soil. This pest attacks a very large number of plants, including vegetables, fruit trees, ornamentals, forest trees, and root crops. 
With the decision taken to implement a rigorous biocontrol plan, the next step was to source enough natural predators of the pink hibiscus mealybug for release into the affected area. The releases that we propose to do is not a one-shot, one-month um, release. Right, the releases will be conducted, you know, every month over a six-month um, period, and there will be a, an assessment of the releases to determine if they are establishing themselves, the natural enemies are establishing themselves in the system, right? So there will be post monitoring of, you know, with the releases. Three natural predators of the pink hibiscus mealybug that were considered included the ladybird beetle, Cryptolamus montreziri, and two types of wasps. The Cryptolemus, the beetle, it's a predator in that it will feed on all life stages of the pink hibiscus mealybug. It acts more like a bio-pesticide in that once it's released, it will dramatically just consume whatever it is that is present there in, in the system as it relates to the mealybug. Um, in terms of the Anagyrus, no. The Anagyrus actually um, inserts its eggs lays its eggs inside of the mealybug and there are two stages that it prefers and once inside the eggs well they hatch the larvae emerge and then they eat on the insides or the internally within the mealybug and then the mealybug um, dies over time and then this wasp transforms by pupating and then it emerges and then it continues its um, life cycle by feeding on other mealybugs that um, it may encounter. The wasp, known as the Geranisodia indica, feeds on the hibiscus mealybug in a similar way as the Anagyrus camali. The wasps are good hunters. They seek out the mealybugs which may be hidden in crevices on plants and are good at controlling a small mealybug population, while the Cryptolamus beetle prefers a high population of mealybug for feeding. Before we can release it, we need to know what is out there, what the population is like, and that will determine how many parasitoids we send to any one area. So what we have done is collect samples from all the areas that we found infested with the pink mealybug. And we are actually counting the number of egg sacs that have been laid and the number of names and adult mealybugs that are out there. And this will allow us to determine what we're also collecting samples in order to look for natural enemies. Do we have anything presently in Jamaica that is controlling the pink mealybug? So what we've done, we've collected the samples, we have looked and counted the egg sacs and the others as I mentioned before. And this will give us an indication of the numbers or the level of infestation we have in the field. So where we have high levels of infestation, we'll release more parasitoids. This type of biocontrol measure seems to be effective and environmentally friendly. While it does not result in total eradication of the pink mealybug, it is capable of reducing drastically the pink mealybug population. You will still find in the system very low populations of the pink hibiscus mealybug even though you have released the natural enemies, just that the economic damage associated with the high levels will not be experienced because it is anticipated that these natural enemies will drop or lower the population by 95%. You need to be vigilant. And if you discover anything looking like the pink mealybug on your property, you should contact the relevant agricultural office in your area. Do not remove any plant material from the area. Wait until the officer has done a thorough inspection of the property. We can verify first that it really is the pink hibiscus mealybug and then based on the level of infestation we would suggest that the owner can cut, double bag and burn the material to lower the infestation on their property. But once we obtain the natural enemies and they are ready for release, then we will advise them to desist from any other activity so that the natural enemy can do its work. The introduction of these natural enemies to the pink mealybug does not pose any negative impact. 
This, however, cannot be said for the pink mealybug and other agricultural pests. So everyone, especially persons who trade in fresh produce and plant materials, and those who travel in and out of the country, have a responsibility to prevent any harmful and invasive species hitching rides on products and people. In other words, persons must adhere to the country's food safety regulations. The quarantine unit continues to inspect all imported material for the mealybug. Um, persons who would like to bring in plant material are advised to get the necessary documents from the plant quarantine unit before they bring such material into the country because we have we know that there are various pathways through which these unwanted organisms can get in and one particular way is when people smuggle their plants, they go abroad and they see something nice that they don't have here and they bring it in undetected. We're advising such persons to bring their material to, through customs so that they can be properly inspected by the quarantine personnel so that Jamaica is not put at risk to any unwanted organisms that may come in. For further information and for assistance in plant pest management, you can contact the Ministry of Agriculture, Hope Gardens, Kingston 6, telephone 927-1782-4.